वसुधैव कुटुम्बकम भारत के अंतर्राष्ट्रीय फिल्म महोत्सव का पूरा कॉन्सेप्ट जो पूरी जो जज्बा है वो शायद इसी लाइन पर आधारित है जी हाँ एक ऐसा जश्न है सिनेमा का जिसमें सिर्फ भारत के कोने कोने से ही नहीं बल्कि दुनिया भर से एक से बढ़कर एक फिल्म का कलाकार पहुँचते हैं यहाँ पर और सिर्फ फिल्मकार और कलाकार ही बल्कि दर्शक भी जी हाँ बहुत ही खास लम्हा होता है जब इन दस दिनों में हम दुनिया भर के तमाम कलाकारों से फिल्मकारों से मुलाकात करते हैं अलग अलग भाषाएं अलग अलग नेशनालिटी अलग अलग नेशनैलिटी लेकिन सभी को सिर्फ एक चीज जोड़ती है और वो है सिनेमा से प्यार जी हाँ और इसी की बानगी इस वक्त आप देख सकते हैं टू थाउजेंड फिफ्टीन के टॉकथॉन के इस बहुत ही स्पेशल सेशन में जहां पर हमारे तीन अलग अलग देशों से फिल्मकार इस वक्त एक ही जगह पर मौजूद हैं और आप अपने घर पर बैठे हुए तमाम वो सवाल पूछ सकते हैं अपनी राय जाहिर कर सकते हैं और सीधे हमें देख सकते हैं लाइव एम के यूट्यूब चैनल पर इस वक्त सबसे पहले मैं आपको मुखातिब कराना चाहूंगी हमारे साथ फिल्म मेकर युवा दिलशाद हैं जो कि इसराइल से हैं तो वही हमारे साथ पाकिस्तान से जामी इस वक्त मौजूद है एंड वी हैव वेरी स्पेशल गेस्ट लोबो डंकन राडू फ्रॉम शी करंटली शी स्टेज इन प्राग चेक से चेक रिपब्लिक से ये तीन फिल्मकार इस वक्त हमारे साथ मौजूद हैं आई कट माई स्पीच शॉर बिकॉज देर लॉट्स ऑफ क्वेश्चन कमिंग फॉर ऑल ऑफ यू राइट नाउ हेयर दी थिंग सो लेट स्टार्ट विद द वेरी फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन विच कम्स फ्रॉम आभा वॉट आस्पेक्ट्स ऑफ फिल्म मेकिंग डू यू इन्जॉय वर्किंग ऑन द मोस्ट लोबदांका दिस क्वेश्चन इज फॉर यू हेलो थैंक यू फॉर क्वेश्चन दिंग दैट इज द मोस्ट इम्पोर्टेंट फॉर मी इज सम काइंड ऑफ विजुअल एक्सक्लूसिविटी और वॉन्टिंग टू मेक द ब्यूटिफुल मूवी एंड देन ऑफ कोर्स इज द वर्क विद दिस आर दू बेजिक बट ऑफ कोर्स फिल्मिंग इज अ कॉम्प्लेक्स प्रोसेस सो आई वुड से दैट द मोस्ट चैलेंजिंग इज गेटिंग इट ऑल टू वर्क टूगेदर ओके एंड द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम अलीना हाउ लॉन्ग डिड द प्रोजेक्ट मू टेक टू फिनिश जामी जी हम आपको बता दें कि इस फिल्म महोत्सव में जामी जो पाकिस्तान से हैं वो अपनी बेहद खास फिल्म मूर लेकर यहाँ पहुँचे हुए हैं एंड यू हैव यू प्रेस कॉन्फ्रेंस ऑल्सो और काफ़ी अच्छा रिस्पॉन्स मिल रहा है जितना मैंने सुना है अभी इस फिल्म को लेकर तो इस फिल्म के बारे में बताइए कि किस तरह से इस पूरे प्रोजेक्ट को खत्म होने में समय लगा और the certain things are not available mm -hmm. industry is emerging again mm -hmm. so <clears throat> we were buying the cameras while we were supposed to shoot the film mm -hmm. the editing studios were putting up mm -hmm. and uh, we we were putting up uh, editing studios color correction studios and mm -hmm. uh, training cameramen so it was uh, complete from scratch mm -hmm. and um, that's why it took 5 years and uh, the best part was uh, because i like to shoot the old way mm -hmm. this is slow down now that everything is very quick okay and that was one thing i liked about not having a proper working industry mm -hmm. there was no pressure on us mm -hmm. and uh, we just kept editing for 2 years mm -hmm. fixing it properly and uh, we shot for 100 days uh, it's a it's a slow process in pakistan at least for us <laughs> okay to kafi chunautiyon ka samna karna pada aur lekin shayad us chunauti ka phal yahan dekhne ki bahut hi khoobsurat film nikal kar samne aayi hai agla sawal hai juli ka uh, what motivated you to be a documentary director you are dilshad jin ki film baba jun hai hamare is uh, uh, film festival mein and you are uh, made of your feature your feature fiction feature debut with this movie right so what motivated you to be a documentary filmmaker that's question from judy what is motivated me is that to tell uh, the truth about life about human being mm -hmm. um, so this was my first time when i started to make documentary this was my point of view mm -hmm. but then i moved to feature film because in the last year the documentary became less and less um, reality all the reality shows came into the tv all this youtube channel so mm -hmm. people start to be aware of the microphone of the directing of the question people crying everywhere tears everywhere drama everywhere so the documentary mm -hmm. start to be like i feel like people pretend me mm -hmm. and not tell me the truth of mm -hmm. life mm -hmm. because they are aware um, about this media mm -hmm. so then i want to tell my story exactly like the way i want to tell it so then i moved to uh feature film to tell my story 
Okay. Uh, Lohan Dango, you've been making so many documentaries, uh, I've heard about you. So what motivated you to uh, be a documentary filmmaker and what attracts you more in making documentaries? Well, I started feature directly. So okay. I'm a feature film director and documentaries just kind of emerged on the way because mm -hmm. it happened that there was a topic that was near to me that I needed to be done or that there was an uh, mm -hmm. opportunity to do something for Czech TV, so I did a couple of documentaries. Okay, and talking about your film, uh, My MY2, My2, uh, I've been told it's a very complex love story, so there are different shades of life. So tell us about the film also. Okay, uh, the film is about a very close relationship that uh, evolves between a heterosexual woman and a homosexual man, and the film is basically about uh, exploring the, the, the borders and the boundaries within human relationships. Okay. Uh, the next question is from Deeraj Bora. Jamiji, music is very important to the film. Could you say a little bit about the music in Moore? Uh, music and you have a very strong connection. We'll talk about that. Yes, music uh, video is different. But first about the film, Moore. Yes, uh, <coughs> because I started work uh, as a film, a music video director. Yes. And uh, so I have a very strong connection with the music guys in Pakistan. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Then strings comes first. We have done a lot of music videos for them. And, uh, and when the film came and I started sitting with uh, Bilal Maksud and, and it was a, from, uh, from the start it was a very personal mm -hmm. thing, the way we used to make music videos, it was, a, it was, a, it was a, like a very, very brotherly uh, brainstorming sessions okay. and it came very naturally and then uh, we uh, made a, a complete album. And uh, strings. This is first time they made a soundtrack mm -hmm. uh, score. So that was a very interesting thing. We're working with strings uh, on a score, mm -hmm. and 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 doing a score live. I mean, you don't have this this electronic thing. Mm -hmm. You had the, the session players, and that was very interesting. Going all the way, uh, the proper way, okay. but not using the canned music and the. You know, like uh, the market uh, DVD music. It took again. It took one and a half year just to get the music right. Uh, and because I was changing the edit too many times, mm -hmm. so the music was also changing. So then uh, we told and hold the music. Mm -hmm. Let us finish the film first. <laughs> then uh, so it was a very interesting uh, uh, way we handled. The music was uh, for me sound and music is seventy percent of the film. You, you see a movie without uh, right sound or music, this changes the, the whole perspective. Okay. So we really took time and try to, tried at least to make it right. Okay, I also want to mention right now about Paldo Pal because I've read about that and how mm. it changed, it completely changed the, you know, the kind of uh, music scenario, music album scenario in Pakistan. Uh, Pakistan music is really, really popular in India as well. But uh, tell us about Paldo Pal and also if you ever thought of yours to be making music or uh, think or maybe singing or making music or only just your content by shooting and directing the music videos. <coughs> well, film is, uh, is a thing that I, I started as a photographer and cinematographer. Mm -hmm. So um, if, uh, filmmaking is a, is a thing where you become a photographer, uh, art director, music, so you, it's, everything is there. Okay. I can't sing, I can't, I can't <laughs> make okay. music. But, uh, what was the first question? Like Paldopal, Paldopal. about Paldopal. Well, Paldopal was uh, our, our generation's first, uh, mm -hmm. the dark, um, very insane video, music video. And mm -hmm. at that time, even India was doing a very happy peppy songs. Mm -hmm. Pakistan was doing very pop songs, and then it came this dark music mm -hmm. video that changed everything for Pakistan and maybe for India also. I guess. Okay, I hope so. The next question is for uh, you, uh, Yuval. Alina. What sparked your interest in making only documentaries? Child? I think they are really uh, passionate about your documentaries. They're really loving your documentaries. Again, the same question is also coming. Uh, so you can answer this and also about Baba Jun, like how was, uh, you know, I was reading about Baba Jun that it's set in a community that has really been seen in Israel. So tell us about that also, about your film. Uh, in Israel, when Israel was uh, born, a lot of uh, people came around the world. Mm -hmm. So this, they, prefer, they prefer to be together with themselves, like people from Morocco, people mm -hmm. from Iran, people from India. 
they can and they don't mix each other at the first time. Mm -hmm. So uh, there is some villages where they, until today they, they kept their uh, community. Mm -hmm. If they are near Iranian, they are Iranian community. It's more easy for them to contact each other mm -hmm. and the culture is more uh, familiar uh, with them. And some of them are mixed with all the Israelis. So my story is a story about this village, small village, or just Iranian live there. Mm -hmm. And when there are Iranian there, the, the, the culture of, the, of Iran is more uh, strong than the Israeli culture. Mm -hmm. So uh, everybody, if somebody do something, uh, people judge him because of the Iranian culture, not because of the Israeli culture. Okay, okay. And you love for documentaries. Again, there's a question that's been come. You still, uh, you want to, coming back, you'll make documentaries, we continue making documentaries and no, telling I your own I stories? Cannot, uh, I cannot do more documentaries because uh, I saw uh, how much I want to tell a story that I want to tell okay. for, for my life, okay, okay. for my experience. Mm -hmm. So uh, it's not the going back or it's not that, it's okay. something different for me. To okay. be tell my story. So my next film is also my story. That I, uh, I, I ex experienced something in life, mm -hmm. in human being issue, okay. and I want to tell that story. Okay, we will surely be waiting for that movie because everybody know like Baba Jun uh, also premiere at the Toronto Film Festival and a uh, great, great response over there. The next question comes from Vishali. What is the research which went into the film and why the title MY2? Lobodanka, this question is for you. Okay, uh, the, the film story uh, started, we uh, wrote the script together with the, uh, the writer, Rafka Denmark, who is very uh, uh, popular and awarded in Czech Republic and in Germany as well. And mm -hmm. uh, at the very beginning, there were some uh, personal, uh, personal experiences that led us to the story. I had some, she had some, and then we started to, uh, to investigate people around us. And we found out that there are lots of people who have similar experiences. Because mm -hmm. the film is a fiction, but we wanted it to be rooted in reality. And so we checked all the, uh, have all the events in the story to be sure that they could have happened or that emotionally and psychologically that they are uh, realistic. Okay. Jami, tell us about, you have also, I think, uh, started your own production house in uh, Pakistan. So tell us about that and also about uh, the culture of movies over there, because you were mentioning it there because you don't have that, uh, you know, uh, technical industry, technical support, so they're stuffed to make movies. So tell us about that also. <coughs> yes, we have our own company because uh, I do music videos and I do TV commercials also. Mm -hmm. And TV commercials finance my own film. Mm -hmm. And we don't do uh, outside financing till, till now at least. Mm -hmm. And uh, that gives us power to do whenever, whatever I want to do mm -hmm. without any pressure. Mm -hmm. And that's one thing I have realized uh, seeing everywhere that once you take money from somebody, mm -hmm. you have to listen to that person or that studio. Okay. Or, okay. And <clears throat> that's one thing I, I just can't understand. Mm -hmm. I will, I will be understanding it very soon <laughs> when I'll be t taking more money. Mm -hmm. But, uh, and that Azad film gives me a uh, lot of freedom mm -hmm. to do whatever I want. want. And, uh, and the culture, well, uh, <coughs> because there's nothing uh, right now, and it's all emerging, it gives me a lot of uh, freedom to do whatever I want to do because there's no feasibility mm -hmm. to earn money back. And the market is very, very small right now. Mm -hmm. The max you can go is 30 crores. Okay. That's your max. If you have your item numbers there, you have your girls there, you have everything, comedy and romance, and that's your max, $3 million. Mm -hmm. And I still say $3, $3 million is very less okay. to sell my soul for. Okay. I'd rather do very uh, serious films mm -hmm. instead of like a typical movie where I have to think about selling first. Okay. And so... So that's that's one critical thing we are not that one line we are not crossing yet. Okay. Once the industry crosses the hundred crore mark, mm -hmm. then I'll be very aware okay. what not to do and what to do and okay. be careful. Mm -hmm. As a filmmaker, you also face the same problem of arranging the finance and then marketing the film and selling the film. Is it more difficult than actually making the film? Is that is that so? 
Well, I'm not, uh, I'm not my own producer. This is okay. basically the producer's job, but mm -hmm. yes, it is very difficult because mm -hmm. there are so many movies uh, happening in the world and it is very difficult to find a, to find a, to place a movie. Yes, that is true. Mm -hmm. uh, Lucia? For me, it's more harder to, to write than to raise money. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. But it's right, uh, it's all around your life. I wrote my script uh, mm -hmm. six years. Mm -hmm. Just by yourself, lonely, mm -hmm. it's not so uh, happy. To raise money, it's hard, but it's more easy with yourself okay. to do it. Okay. It's like a job, you need to do it, to go, to be pitching. But to write, it's something uh, like you don't know where it's going to be the end. Okay, okay. The next question is from Ashok Bharadwaj. Why did you choose Persian language, uh, Mr. Dilshad, for your Israeli film, Baba Jhoon? But there's a particular uh, reason to choose yeah, this there language? Yeah, three reasons mm -hmm. that. First, uh, that the, this is uh, my, my home, my, in my home, mm -hmm. my parents talk Farsi mm -hmm. with, uh, with the grandpa, with the neighbors, because I grew up in that village where the people are Iranian. Mm -hmm. So we took, we, they took Farsi. Uh, and me as a boy, I would talk just Hebrew, so I just heard Farsi, so I know a little bit Farsi. And then uh, I wanted to, I wanted, I wanted the actor to speak Farsi because if the father is speaking Farsi and the boy is speaking just Hebrew, he is mm -hmm. the new generation. He wants to speak mm -hmm. Hebrew, mm -hmm. but the father is just came from Iran. He wants to speak Farsi. So if there is, uh, uh, not all the people understand that the boy is speaking just Hebrew. He's not speaking Farsi. Mm -hmm. So if it will stay that for all of the, the film, it will also show the conflict. Okay. The father speak Farsi and the boy speak just Hebrew. So okay. I want also to have that to show uh, that there are immigrant uh, uh, family, uh, old generation and new generation, so I want to show the difference. And also I like very much Okay, okay. Uh, so also right now I want to ask you about uh, experience over here. Jami, if we start with you, uh, how is your experience here at the International Film Festival of India? <coughs> That's very interesting. This is my first time okay. um, in India with the film. I am coming directly from Busan. Okay. And uh, when you're coming from Busan and South Korea, a very technotronic country. Hmm. And I was thinking it might be very, very desi, very, you know, like you will have issues and this and that. Till now it's too perfect. I mean, okay. I'm very glad that it's very well managed, it's, it's, okay. it's, it's very proper. And of course there are small hinges with every, with every mm -hmm. uh, festival, okay. but I haven't seen it yet. Okay. And uh, uh, so, I mean, I'm very happy. This mm. is very Thank nice. you so much. Okay. Uh, you tell me. Uh, for me, it's my first time in India, and okay. first time at the festival, so I enjoyed it very much. I, uh, the screening with Indian public was very interesting, and I had lots of uh, questions afterwards and uh, it was good and I'm enjoying the atmosphere of the festival. Okay. You were able to watch any of the Indian movies here? Tomorrow. Tomorrow. <laughs> uh, you all yourself. For me it's my first time in India. Okay. And, uh, what impressed me is two things about uh, Indian people. First, how they are respect cinema. Mm -hmm. It's amazing to see yeah. that. All this poster in around the street is amazing. Yeah, mm -hmm. we just love us. Respect mm -hmm. not just love. Every pe people love to see cinema for mm -hmm. entertainment, mm -hmm. but for the Indian people, it, they're, they're respected. Okay. Not just love it. Mm -hmm. And um, and the first and, and the second is that uh, uh, how the I see uh, so much similarity between uh, uh, my culture and Indian culture. Okay. Uh, so I feel here, you know, like home. I don't feel like stranger. Okay, that's great. People are very really warm, people are very really nice, people are, uh, they are, they're looking at the film, mm -hmm. not just on the surface. Okay. Uh, they're looking at the film, they ask questions that never people ask me in the old festival that I've been with Baba John. never ask me uh, so deeply questions about, about the, the, the even, even thing that I just thought between myself. Okay. I said, maybe somebody will, see that. Mm -hmm. and suddenly somebody asked me, do you mean that the mother will represent that and the father will represent that? I said, wow, <laughs> you looked deeply in, into the movie and I think it's in the culture uh, here, so it's very touching to okay. see it.
<laughs> thank you so much. Thank you so much. The next question is from Praveena. It's three, Mr. Adhun. Why are your scripts mostly related to everyday human life? Well, I basically believe that all the scripts are related to everyday human life. But uh, that was my debut movie. I mm. needed it done. I wanted to uh, make this very uh, intimate story, mm -hmm. which in that case logically comes back to, to everyday life and to, and to everyday people, which I think that are immensely interesting. Mm -hmm. But generally, uh, nowadays, if you take a new kind of cinema, is there where really every all the filmmakers uh, were they telling their stories, or act, actually their everyday life uh, story, my story or your story. I think these are the stories which are really coming out. Uh, the uh, Jami, you tell me in India also the, lately the films who have really made to the international film festivals were the stories about a very ordinary human life, not very big budgeted films like Lunchbox or Masan or Ditli. Is something of that culture you can feel it in Pakistan also? I think that's. The real uh, real way to go forward mm -hmm. uh, because uh, I'm not saying Bollywood way is the wrong way mm -hmm. right now 90 percent movies are going that Bollywood way mm -hmm. and, uh, <clears throat> and and the parallel cinema will die out if if we don't have that uh, that leverage mm -hmm. of having a different type of film mm -hmm. uh, like I was telling somebody just now that lunchbox made almost as much money as Bhajan Ki Bhaijan. Nobody yes. knows this. Yes, yes, yes. And yes. it was made for maybe 9 crore rupees, mm -hmm. 10 crore rupees, but it made 50 million dollars. Mm -hmm. And that's ratio-wise is the biggest, I think, in Indian mm -hmm. cinema. And uh, we should think like that. And I tell everyone in Pakistan, mm -hmm. just please keep that option open. Mm -hmm. Of course, you can have your songs and dance. But if somebody wants to make a serious film, that option should be open always. Mm -hmm. And uh, that's, that's very important. Mm -hmm. yeah. You're talking about, uh, I would really like to mention right now, your Pakistani serials are creating storm in India right now. There's, there's so many serials coming, and Fawad Khan, and Fawad Khan, and all, all these actors are equal star as Shahrukh Khan and Amir Khan here in, in uh, India <coughs> right now. So tell us about, we, we both of course come, both the countries really do file the similarity of culture, but Dashad was mentioning right now. I tell you what, um, Pakistan really amazes me, even though I live there. Mm -hmm. Uh, especially India and around the world, people mm -hmm. don't uh, know Pakistan that mm -hmm. well. Mm -hmm. And uh, I mean, we have become a very hip country also. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of underground work, mm -hmm. uh, which is very important for a culture because we were oppressed for such a long time. Mm -hmm. So the culture of art never l fully died, mm -hmm. it just went underground. Okay. And when, mm -hmm. it, when it goes underground, you can really experiment. Mm -hmm. And now it's coming out again, mm -hmm. and then you see Fawad Khan. These guys are taking mm -hmm. over Bollywood also, mm -hmm. and um, Mayra, no, Mayra no, no, Khan. No, no. And this is very important, and uh, to to the world, I mean, they should understand that uh, mm -hmm. uh, because nobody knows this. Honestly, okay. I mean, Pakistan is rocking right now. Yes, definitely, yeah. <laughs> stars yeah. there means rocking right now. Uh, next question, uh, we'll take it from Suraj. What would you suggest young, focused and dedicated filmmaker who has guts, ideas but no money? <laughs> we have three filmmakers sitting right now. <laughs> what would you suggest? I think Suraj must have some script or something. He's looking for some way out. <laughs> so what advice would you like to give him? Well, my colleague just said, you know, make it, uh, find money is a job. You know? okay, yeah. Get up in the morning and go for a job. Look for no. a right producer. <laughs> no, no, no. It's like uh, today it, is, it, is, it has become more easy to make a movie and of course it's Take, uh, it takes surveillance. You have to be stubborn. You have to go for it. Mm -hmm. that, that's the only advice, basically. I can tell that uh, if somebody feels like he's nobody knows him, nobody will give him money. Mm -hmm. He can take just one scene of the film. Mm -hmm. and with small camera, everybody has today. Mm -hmm. the computer that everybody has today. Mm -hmm. He just shot the way he think mm -hmm. it is. Uh, the best you think he can do. Mm -hmm. and he has this thing, little story, mm -hmm. and you can sell the script with that uh, uh, clip that you're going to mm -hmm. do. So, uh, because there is a lot of words on a paper, mm -hmm. it's something very hard for even, it's going to be the masterpiece. Mm -hmm. But it's just a word on a paper, and we as a director, as a creator, we have a vision. Mm -hmm. Everybody, we have a vision. And the problem is that we need to translate the vision mm -hmm. to something. 
Okay. So uh, the better way is to shot something, for example, mm -hmm. and then you see, okay, this is the way I'm gonna do it. How you like it? <laughs> Lately, recently, this, these kind of problems in India, we have seen there's so many filmmakers, not in India also, around the world, they'll be releasing their films on the social media. If they, if not, if they are not getting a theatrical release, they'll be releasing their films on YouTube. So social media can be a very important tool, a very powerful medium also right now. Uh, next question is from Ujesh. Is screenplay writer independent or very dependent? How do you understand the name independent film and what is your idea of it? Madhav, you have co-authored a script, so uh, you can just help us out with this. Uh, screenplay writer really uh, independent? Well, uh, screenplay writer has to be independent. Mm -hmm. There is no other way because uh, the idea for the movie is not something that you can be uh, the you can uh, be paid to do, you know, there, there has to be something really authentic at the very beginning of the movie. Mm -hmm. uh, but uh, basically you can find uh, lots of very brave ideas even in the mainstream cinema. You mm -hmm. know, it is not, I do not believe so much in these kind of categories, independent, not independent. Maybe in some in, in so-called independent films has become a genre of their own and they can become boring, which is in the, on the contrary of what they wanted to, to do at the beginning, you know, it is, mm -hmm. it is more complicated than that. Mm -hmm. So, uh, but the answer is yes, the, the, the only person who really has to be independent is a script writer. Then all the other, all the other professions can be mm -hmm. different, but the script writer has to be basically independent. Okay, I guess your question is answered, really. And the next question is from Varun. What is the most important thing for an enthusiastic filmmaker to start his career with? They were all taking lessons and classes from you three guys. <laughs> all of them. Uh, what's the most important thing for an enthusiastic filmmaker? The, what triggered the one thing you tell us that you thought that I'm going to be a filmmaker or what that one thing which triggered, which forced, really forced you to take up your dream of making films or you know producing things? That one thing. I would say <clears throat> that's a very definite moment in my life when I was a six years old I was I saw mm. Star Wars okay that was very clear moment that okay <laughs> this is beautiful okay. and then you later realize oh mm. this is a screen mm. somebody makes it okay. when you were a teenager then you understand that so mm -hmm. for me that is very important to give credit to George Lucas and he's still pretty authentic even now mm. he just walked away from Star Wars from Disney and so for Star Wars is for me a very different point. <laughs> I think, I think uh, yeah. before you're going to start even to do something, you need to know what you want to want, what you want to tell to the world. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't I don't say what is the story. Mm -hmm. What is the story about? Mm -hmm. What you want to tell people about human being? Mm -hmm. Something new, mm -hmm. something unique to you. Okay. Uh, because people always get confused. Let's make a film. Okay, I want to make a film. A film, and they see what's going on around, mm -hmm. and what people like, and mm -hmm. what is the bestseller. Mm -hmm. and, and this is not the right thing <coughs> to do because it has to come from yourself, okay. from your life experience. And everybody, mm -hmm. everybody in the world has his own story, okay. his own childhood, and every story, every person is a unique person. And he can tell his story. Mm -hmm. Now he has to just express mm -hmm. the right, the right way. Okay, Lobo, yeah, time is up. But last words from you. <laughs> uh, it's you have to be industrious. You just have to work on it. You have to do it. Not to talk mm -hmm. about it, not to dream about it, but to be honest to yourself and just do it. और यही शर्त कुछ चुहानी हमारी भी है यहाँ पर इफी 2015 के इस टॉकेथॉन के मंच के जरिए कि आपके साम आप से रूबरू करा सके हम तो यहाँ भर से आए एक से बढ़कर एक फिल्म का बहुत ही खूबसूरत रहा इफी 2015 का ये टॉकेथॉन भी बहुत-बहुत शुक्रिया आप सभी का इन तमाम सवालों को हम भेजने के लिए और